Okay, in this video we're going to talk all about asset bundles. Now, we're going to continue our strategy theme. We're going to develop some strategy game mechanics and asset bundles are the next thing to do. So, if you're wondering what asset bundles are, they're packages of game objects which you can upload on your server and then load those objects straight into the game. So, if you're making an online game, guys, um, asset bundles are a must a thing you must do, I think. Uh, they're a really good way to optimize the game just to load certain objects in the game at the same time so really good for optimization uh, so the first thing um, right the first thing you do if you've never done asset bundles before guys is to watch my video firstly but go to the unity manual and if you go to the advanced section down the bottom somewhere whoops um, here we are asset bundles pro only so uh, the Unity manual is a really, really good way to research on particular things, especially with asset bundles. I mean, these links will only take about 10 minutes to read, not not long at all, and they just explain how they work and how to use them, basically. So I'll go through it in this video as well. But basically, like I said, you get all the assets you want, so you select them in your scene, build an asset bundle, which is basically one file, upload it to the server, and it sits on the server, and within your game online, you fetch the bundle from the server and display the assets so it unpacks them in the in the game alright guys so read this stuff frequently asked questions building downloading downloading sorry and etc etc so um, manage, managing stuff is good as well managing un unloading and loading them up so yeah um, always go to the uh, unity manual rather than buy books on Amazon and whatever you, wherever you buy the books from guys because these authors these professionals as they call themselves all they do is copy stuff from the manual and create create like rubbish projects out of them so the unity manual the unity manual is the best first hand method to research stuff all right so moving on I ran over for that one um you need the scripts to make asset bundles work you can download them from the unity website for free i'll put a uh, a link in the description i'll put this on unity chat channel actually to make things easier um export asset bundles in the editor folder so storing scripts in the editor folder whoops don't want to do that um sorry about that guys so putting scripts in the editor folder kind of expands the editor the unity editor so this script basically adds two buttons to the scene it adds this one and this one so we can build asset bundles with the game object dependencies or without them basically I always do with dependencies so you know exactly what's going to happen without the scripts these buttons will not be here so you need the scripts in the scene to export the asset bundles alright guys so you need the same kind of thing when you want to export objects to the unity web to the unity store um, you need another script to put in the editor so this is just a way to expand the editor to create new buttons new interfaces and stuff um, so you need that so with that I'm gonna upload two objects to our asset bundle sorry so um, I'm going to put this house in an asset oops sorry uh, the house to start with so it's just a Lego kind of style shiny house and the, ne the next thing is the, these metal orbs I was going to use these as a loader, so a loader icon to show the user the game is thinking, so these things rotate. But in this example, I'm just going to put these in an asset bundle, so just delete these from the scene. Um, to create an asset bundle, guys, simply select the objects you want to put in the bundle, go to assets, build asset bundle from selection, track dependencies. Alright, so let's call this world objects bundle or something call it wherever you want save it out that's quick and uh, go to your FTP client and upload them so I'm gonna upload them to a directory on unity chat channel in my game object in my game files folder so I've created a new folder where I'm gonna upload all my assets bundles let's just drag it on there now and upload it to our scene well server sorry and uh, the other thing I need to mention, the necessity to create this stuff, is the cross-domain file. It's an XML file, it's just a basic security thing to make sure that only the domain you want to access to the asset bundles is accessing them. So let's just open these in Text Wrangler. XML file, just allow access from unitychatchannel.com so you can, you can make more of these guys. So 
just a security thing so only this domain can access the asset bundles so again I'll put this on Unity chat channel for free I'll put it there just so I don't forget so that's what you need so you need the cross domain XML file and this to make the buttons okay so what's next we need to load the asset bundle into the scene so I've created a script on an empty game object called world and this is it basically so the first thing we need to do is assign a URL to load the asset bundle so we called it um, world objects underscore bundle let's see if I can copy it from there instead slash okay so it's Unity 3D files just so you know, guys know uh, in the start function I enumerator so we can yield it and stuff we create a www object and we use the method load from cache or download so we're downloading this file basically so the URL wait for it to complete so once it's complete we want to retrieve the asset bundle so as simple as that guys um, there's, a there's a variable type called asset bundle or object type and uh, that's how we refer to it so refer to the downloaded file dot asset bundle and that's it so that's all we need to do the next thing is load the game objects where we can instantiate them and put them in our scene and do whatever the hell you want with them basically so we're going to refer to the house and the metal orbs just refer to them as their name in the scene so house and metal orbs type of game object cast it as a game object as well so nothing can go wrong alright so let's just instantiate the house to start with so I'm just going to comment this out we don't want to do both at the same time just to make things simple so instantiate the house from the bundle and um, change it to house translate it a little bit just so we can move it a little bit on the scene so with that that's attached to the scene build settings make sure it's the web player development build yeah we're developing this it's not nowhere near done yet so let's build it asset bundles project save it out alright guys hopefully it won't take too long ok that's cool it's all done so let's just open out our mission control thing and uh, upload these to the server I'm going to upload them on the root directory to our cross domain so it's not in the game files folder it's in the root directory alright guys so for that to work it needs to be in the root directory by the way we can edit these uh, web pages, just a web page guys, you can make this a PHP page or whatever you work with and the asset bundle is there, the project's there right so let's go into Chrome and load it up Unity chat channel demos uh, HTML file so it should load, the house should load in the scene straight away so let's see if it works boom so as you can see it works I've got a couple more scripts here so we can control this the, the camera when moving the mouse to the side or we can do the W A S and D buttons and a little interface down here so that's for the future but as you can see the house loaded in the middle of the screen I've also got a script that kind of changes the main texture of it as well but that's not very not that's not important guys so everything works um, the object was loaded into the scene and it was translated a little bit just to show you that it works and now it's in the scene we can do whatever we want with it so just by this little example you can see how powerful um, asset bundles can be I mean you can attach a script to each of the assets you upload and assign stuff to them like hit points and attributes and stuff and if you can form all these variables to the same you know conform to the same variables you can uh, write a script in the scene and refer to the objects that have been uh, instantiated from the asset bundles etc etc so really good way to do things and that's asset bundles guys so like I said in the beginning we need the uh, file in the editor folder we need the cross domain XML file just for security purposes and that's it guys so before I finish I'm just going to see if the um, if the metal orbs object loads as well so we'll, we'll work with um, asset bundles in the future as well uh, so we want to instantiate the metal orbs 
transform translate okay so let's see if that works now so let's build it again yeah let's build it out call it project 2 just as a side note guys you haven't got the debug menu when you upload things to the web so you might want to create a um, a kind of a separate little script so instead of um, fetching your objects from asset bundles you might just want to have them sitting in a folder and refer to them like that when you finish developing then convert over to the asset bundles it's a lot simpler a lot more simple to develop your project so let's just upload this again see if this one works with the metal orbs My internet's not very fast today and um go back to Chrome wherever it was, I think we quit it and uh let's try again. Ah oh, there it is. Number two, so let's see if that works. And there you go, so the orbs loaded this time and it's spinning around. Like I said, I was gonna use this as a loader, kind of a preloader graphic just to show the game was loading, but that looks pretty cool as well. Alright guys, so this is now live on unitychatchannel.com so depending when you're watching this video it might have a bit more stuff in it or, or whatever so thanks for watching the video guys, I know this can be a lot to take in but um, if you don't understand what these objects are, the www objects or any of these methods like I said, go to the Unity manual, the scripting reference and stuff and research them because they're a really really good way but that's how things work so thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video, thanks for watching.